Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to another installment of A B A to Z with Tara, brought to you by the Apple Tree Connection, uh, where we cover the concepts and principles of applied behavior analysis at the Registered Behavior Technician or RBT level. We get a lot of questions from our RBT students about elaborating on certain topics, and our goal as uh, stewards of this amazing science is to make sure that every one of our students, as well as all RBTs that are practicing, understand how to apply what they learn in the classes and how to improve the lives of their clients. So without further ado, today's topic is measurement, specifically continuous and discontinuous measurement, okay? so. I always like to try and keep it as simple as possible to start. And continuous is when we record all instances of observed behaviors, observed, keep that in mind. We're talking about when we are with our clients, right? So observed behaviors. Discontinuous measurement is when we record some instances of observed behaviors when we are with our client. Allow me to elaborate. All right. Continuous measurement, these are examples, okay? Frequency, duration, latency, inter-response time. It means that when we are with our client and we are working with them to improve and record behaviors, right? Because that's part of your job mm -hmm. as an RBT is to record behavior, take data on behavior. That's what we're talking about. Um, and you are told that we are collecting the frequency behavior of Johnny's hitting. Okay, that's what the program says. Hitting is operationally defined. Hopefully that concept is uh, there for you. And that means when you are with Johnny, anytime you observe Johnny hitting, you record it, you take data on it. You're either doing it on paper and pencil, you're doing it in your um, software that you're provided, but anytime he hits and you're with him, you record it, okay? Let's say it's duration. Duration of, let's say, a tantrum. That means anytime you are with Johnny and you observe a tantrum, you take duration data, which means you start your timer when it starts and you stop your timer when it stops based on the operational definition of what that tantrum is. You are collecting duration data. Latency, it would be how long it takes your client to engage in a behavior after the SD is given. Right, so if you are being told to take latency data on Johnny's uh, starting a task behavior and you say, Johnny, start your worksheet, you would start the timer and as soon as Johnny starts his worksheet, you would stop the timer and that is called latency. So every single time you are collecting latency behavior on that particular behavior, this is continuous measurement into response time, the time between responses, right? Let's say your client engages in some high frequency hitting and you're told to take IRT data for that. Your, your client engages in a hit, which you are also collecting maybe some other data on, maybe you're not, maybe you're just collecting IRT data. Um, and you would take data on start the time once that occurs, and then you would stop the time once the next behavior occurs, the time in between responses, but you are doing this every instance of that observed behavior that is defined by your programming, by your behavior team, okay? That's continuous measurement. Discontinuous measurement, it's when some behaviors are recorded, right? So um, in a whole interval, the criteria for whole interval is that you break an observation period into set intervals. I like to use easy math. Let's say it's a 30 minute observation period and you wanna do six equal intervals of five minutes because five times six is 30, okay? That's what your behavior team has decided, that you are going to take whole interval data for your client. And we're gonna say in seat behavior, right? So you break that 30 minute observation period down into six five minute intervals. And if you're collecting data on in seat behavior, you would start your timer for the first five minute interval. And if your client is in their seat for the whole interval, they get a check or a yes or whatever that means. But if your client at any time gets out of their seat, you would put an X. So let's say your interval starts, go. 
you're into that five minute interval by five seconds and your client gets out of their seat, X, you're not saying how long they were out of their seat. You're not saying how many times they got in and out of their seat. You're simply saying that it met the criteria or I'm sorry, did not meet the criteria for being in their seat for the whole interval, right? So you're not collecting data on every instance of that up and down in and out of seat behavior. It's just, did it meet the criteria or not? Partial, different criteria, is that the behavior occurred at any time during the interval, right? So let's say raising hand behavior, right? So um, teacher is engaged in a lesson and they're asking the, the students to participate and you wanna find out if at any time during this same five minute interval, because the, now the criteria is partial interval, did the behavior occur or not, okay? So timer's going, uh, four minutes and 52 seconds passes by, your client raises their hand, check they met the criteria. All right, same thing. Your client raises their hand at two seconds into the interval and then 25 seconds into the interval and then two minutes into the interval and three minutes into the interval. All you're recording is that it occurred meeting the criteria. You're not saying how many or how often or how long. So you're not recording all instances of a behavior. You're just meeting some criteria that it either occurred or did not occur. Same thing with momentary. It is when you are told to look up the moment the timer ends and did the behavior that you're recording either occur or not occur. So it's the occurrence or non-occurrence of a behavior according to the requirements for each. And that's the difference between continuous and discontinuous measurement. Um, and it just goes back to all instances or some instances, okay? So let's just get back to that really fast. All or some. Hope that helped run all the social media outlets, Facebook, Instagram. These videos are found on our YouTube channel and our website as well. Feel free to comment if this helped or if there's any other topics we can help you with.